Good morning, guys. It is um, almost 8 o'clock. I need to literally leave, but it's 7.52 on Thursday, March 14th. I'm shooting another collection at work today. It's like this new, it's Paris Hilton themed, so I just like straightened my hair because I feel like in the 2000s, I looked at pictures and she had sh like straight hair most of the time, so... Yeah, I'm just unpacking my bag of stuff that I need to film it, and it should be good. I'll show you guys the collection when I'm there. I've already, like, pulled everything and done the styling, so it should be good. We just have to set up so it's kind of stressful, so I need to leave. But I just wanted to update you guys on what I'm doing. So, yeah, that's going to be exciting, and I'm only doing a half day at work today, so I'm going to leave at, like, 12.30 to go to my other job, but... We're gonna get this done, it's gonna be really fun. And you guys are gonna die, the props for this collection are really good. So I'll show you when we're there. Okay guys, I'm at work now. So we're shooting in this like really cool open warehouse space, but we have to set up like a background and things like that because the background's not gonna look like this. But I wanted to show you guys the styling I did for this collection. Um, it's very Paris Hilton inspired so there's like prince or duchess and just like dollar sign like sweatsuits and really cute like butterfly stuff it's really cute so i pulled this outfit this is like a von dutch hat it's so cute and a brat tee with these like towel sweatpants that say sugar on the butt i'm obsessed look at this phone bag as well and then we have like von dutch these cute g-string pants with diamonds on them the pants also have diamonds and this one says too busy <laughs> this is cute and then I just have like this cute little butterfly dress with an open cut in the middle I'll show it to you guys I'll show it all to you guys when it's on but like these are the three outfits that I picked and then we have a bunch of accessories so these are all the sunglasses that they used in the editorial so I'm really excited to play with them they're awesome and then this is just full of props. So we have a bunch of these like Kangol bucket hats. Inside this bag, there's all this like fake money, but also there's this phone. I haven't seen one of these in so long. Like, are you kidding? Hello? Uh, hello? Hi. Yeah, it's the, it's the plug. Hello? <laughs> I'm obsessed. So we have that and there's like, ow. A fake burn book, which is cool. A Barbie, which is like me. These are cute too. Just a bunch of cool stuff. So we're gonna play around with all that today. We definitely need to set up the background because I'm off at 12 today, so I don't know. We need to get, get working because I came in like all prepared, but this space is really cool. Okay, so I just finished, or I didn't do it, Evan did it, but like, um, we finished making the setup for this video. So we have this huge white wall of paper, and then we have a fluffy pink rug down here. I have a mirror to look at myself, and then we got this cute clothing rack that it just kind of is going to be peeping in the corner, and this is more of the line, so it just looks like a closet that matches, but... Trust me, when you see this in frame, it's gonna look cute. It looks a little <laughs> dingy right now, but it's gonna look good. So I'm gonna start changing and filming and we're gonna get this done. Hopefully hopefully within an hour. I think, I, I think it'll take like 30 minutes. Hey guys, so we just wrapped. I've just done the three outfits, but look at this money. It's like fake money. And we just did like a throwing boomerang. It was cute. And then I have like my little razor. These pants are low rise, which is weird because I haven't worn low rise pants in a really long time but yeah it was cute it was a vibe now we just have to clean up <laughs> so nice out so nice out look at the park hi well that was doing the most so we finished filming i finished filming my friend Kelly helped me again. That was a really cute collection. I'm excited for you guys to see the IGTV video if it goes through all well. I don't know, I was super bloated today, so I was just like 
not feeling too hot but also like the outfits were so cute like I felt super cute but now it's sunny and I'm just gonna take advantage of the sun right now because it's like tanning material uh, I just got to my nanny fam's house I'm working here for a couple days while my nanny fam's actual nanny is gone um, if that makes any sense to you guys it might not oh my god the sun feels so good I have like fake tan on right now and it would be so so nice to have a real tan so I'm just gonna tan here lay down and relax um, actually I'm making tea while the baby's asleep but yeah you guys uh, the doing these videos is so fun like it's just like it's just so fun for me because that's obviously what I love doing that's not everything that I do in my job I do a whole bunch of other things that's all like on the computer and stuff but that's like the coolest opportunity that I get to do like I'm really lucky I get to do stuff like this because I just genuinely really enjoy it oh my god it's so hot it's amazing but yeah just out in SF it's so sunny I can like hear people on their roofs. This is the best view of the city, I swear. This rooftop is so gorgeous. That's the city, that's downtown right there. You can see the Salesforce Tower. It's 7 a.m. on a Saturday. I look really rough because I'm really tired, but we're going to get my hair done. I'm gonna go see Ricky. I just need to get my roots done. I was gonna order like these really pretty um, Bellamy hair extensions and get long hair, but I kind of just ran out of time. So we're just gonna do roots and I think that's it, but I wanted to switch it up, but that's okay. Anyways, I'm just walking my car. It's so early to be awake on a Saturday. But this was like the main, the only time that he could fit me in or that I could go as well because I have so much to do before Miami, but I also really hope my wallet is in here. Oh, thank God it's in here. I need to fill in my nails and to switch it up and I'm really pale and I have roots. So we need to fix those things today. I don't know if I'm going to get a spray tan today because I don't leave for a couple of days, but um... Basically, we're gonna start getting back on track. I've been so fucking bloated because of stupid birth control and it's so annoying because I'm like, oh my God, Miami is like this week, so I cannot be bloated, but it's okay. So basically, th this video is kind of like a prep with me for Miami also like, yeah, prep with me for Miami and getting all these like girl things done. This, all this black just makes me look so white, but I have weird residue, like tan residue. Okay, let's get it on our way. My hair is like all frizzy and gross. It's gonna be nice by the end though. These are my roots. We're just gonna do <coughs> the same thing that we did last time with a root shadow. Um, I was telling Ricky that he like possibly could convince me to do color, but then I was like, no, 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 no. We'll just do blonde and do color another time. So just gonna mix some. Honestly, this is a root fill is like super simple. I feel like the last two times I've been in here, it's like so much of a transformation. So this is just like upkeep and more simple, which is good. I'm wearing my Playboy set, the green one. Hi, Ricky. Hey. <laughs> I was just thinking how this time that we're doing my hair, it's so much more simple because the last time we were doing all these like transformation yeah. things. Now it's just touch-ups. Yeah. The fun part. <laughs> right. <laughs> low mate. Well, kind of low mate. Kind of. Same time. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so. 
I know that my my friend Alyssa came in to you. Yes. Hey, we did a lot of work that day, and we it looks really. It good. looks really good, and yeah. she did it right before her trip to Europe, uh -huh. which was cute. Yeah, she's so cute. Her uh, and her boyfriend are really cute. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, oh my god. These cute little Steve's. I'm here for oh, it. Oh, did he come in? No, but like, uh, from what I see on Instagram. Yes, yes, yes. No, yeah, like their aesthetic is very interesting. Yeah. yeah. They kind of seem like they'd be a little European uh -huh. couple. No, totally. He looks European from what he I see. He does. Right here. Yeah. But yeah, she like asked me, she's like, oh, should I go see Ricky? And I was like, yes. yes. Anyways, how's the love life? Good. Yeah? Um, yeah, I don't know if I have a boyfriend from the last time I saw you. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, I oh, did. Oh, I thought you were saying, I don't know if I have a boyfriend right no, now. No, 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 I was I like, do. oh. <laughs> no, oh. <laughs> I do, but I don't know if I told you that last time I was there. Yes, you did. Yeah, so we're good. We're hanging out all the time. I don't, don't go to my house ever, so. Oh, you always stay at his house? Yeah, so. Where does he live? San Mateo. Oh, oh, so a little bit further? Yeah, a little bit further, but it's, you know, it's not too bad. I feel like it. To me, when I'm commuting from here, it feels like the same amount of time than when I would go to my actual house. Yeah, I feel like because you leave so early too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Such a really weird By the way, thanks for meeting me so early. Oh yeah. I was like, because I I was like I don't want to like take off work to do it again, and mm -hmm. then and then you were like seven or eight, and I was like, oh, okay, let's do eight because <laughs> seven is like aggressive. Bro, I do some some of my clients like come in at seven. It's crazy, right? Wow. I'm an early bird, so I'm like down with the early. So you don't mind, yeah. No, as long as my clients don't mind, I'm down. That's true. I was dying this week. Um, mm -hmm. I went out on Sunday for like St. Patrick's Day, right? Uh -huh. So, so hungover. <laughs> like it was, oh my God. Well, luckily the daytime, it was a daytime thing, so I was actually asleep by 10. Mm -hmm. But still, I was like still. drinking all day. I was like, <laughs> please someone, God, please help me. Please help me. Yeah. Boils done. I look really nice. It's so light. <laughs> it's crazy. The root looks really good too. Love. So pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. Looks You're good. Awesome. You did great. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Hair is done. Nice and curly. I'm feeling fresh, a little bit more fresh. I'm on my way to Ulta. Um, I just need to pick up some more tan and hopefully praying they have fake tan remover. Just because I have some leftover tan on me that I like can scrub off, but I would rather just have something to help me take it off. So I think Saint Tropez has it fake tan remover but the last time I went to Ulta they didn't have it they were like sold out so hoping that they have it and I'm gonna pick that up and then I mean then a new bottle of fake tan um and that's kind of it I need to like go home start packing fuck I really the maintenance of being a girl is just not my forte like getting my hair done cool that was great I love hanging out with Ricky um but so I like didn't mind that but now I have to like get my nails done and I just hate getting my nails done like I don't know I just don't enjoy sitting in these like nail salons for really long amounts of time because at least when I'm with Ricky we're talking and stuff but sometimes I talk to the nail people not all the time I feel like sometimes they're in their own zone they don't want to talk which is fine um but yeah maybe I'll do that tomorrow fuck I, there's too much to do as a girl honestly So they have the remover, but they don't have my tan tan. So this is the remover. And then they have this one, but I think it's too dark for me. But I kinda wanna get it anyways. I think I'm gonna get it. Get these. Got the goods. Dude, it was like popping inside that Ulta. It was so busy, I was like, so much going on the line was so long okay so yeah I got the oh my god I just does anyone just like not recognize me with curls I just like don't recognize myself not in I don't know I want like yeah I just want to toss my hair back because it's really hot outside um okay so I got the self tan remover, which I feel like is honestly just going to save my life in so many ways because the fake tan is good. I love St. Tropez. I got the medium one. This is like the express tan one. 
I still feel like it takes a really long time to develop, but whatever. And basically, even though, like, I really like the tan, it does start to wear off and it leaves patches on your body like in weird places like right here in your arms or like on your thighs or on your neck and chest so i just want a fake tan remover to keep my tan just not looking patchy because if it's patchy and then you put more tan on top of it you just look like you have some type of skin disease or something i don't know um so this is literally i'm so happy that they, i've never been in an ulta before when they have had it in stock because like i guess everybody likes it but um yeah i'm gonna go home and use this honestly today and just like scrub everything off and then fake tan for my video tomorrow because like i'm trying stuff on i'm doing like a try on haul and i want to have um like a fresh tan because all clothes honestly all clothes just look better when you have a tan on it's just facts and that's just what i'm gonna do today i need to like I need to really get my life together and start packing for this trip. Maybe I should do laundry. Ugh, I hate errands. Like, I, I mean, like, I love them, but I hate them. Do you know what I mean? It's like a love-hate relationship because when they're all done, you feel really good, but while you're doing them, you're like, I don't wanna do this. Hey guys, okay, I just got home. Um, I decided that before I like remove my fake tan and put on more fake tan, I'm actually gonna go to the gym. Wow, it's making my skin so red. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go to the gym real quick because you guys, I haven't had a Saturday completely off and I don't even know how long, like it feels weird. So yes, I'm gonna go to the gym. Also my hair, whenever there's a toner in it, it like looks like um, really silver <laughs> and I feel like an old lady, but I'm living for it anyways. So yeah, gonna go to the gym real quick. Just get like a really good, I wanna get like a really good workout in. Just like, mm, really good. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Um, God, that just made my skin so red, what the heck? Look how clear it's gotten though. Besides my chin has some redness on it. So I have some scarring of redness and stuff right there, but there's no active pimples and stuff like that. So that's amazing that we're getting like close to perfect skin, which honestly I thought I would never have Honestly, like I just was to the point where I was like, I'm never gonna have clear skin and that's just never gonna be for me But finally it took so much time money and effort you guys So I'm really happy that it's finally coming together, but clear skin if you work really hard you can have it And like sometimes you have to take medication, but do what you got to do my quality of life has Significantly improved since having clear skin. I'm not kidding like I can walk around in public with no makeup on and not feel like I have to hide like Anyways, just wanted to throw that in there. Hey, hello party people. It's Sunday right now and it's like 9 p.m. I think. I just got home from work because I work every day. And um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I'm gonna start packing because I finally did my rave try on haul. Put my suitcase out. Yeah, I have to do laundry of all my like normal clothes that I wear on like a day-to-day -day basis, but I have all my festival clothes and like bathing suits and things like that right here. So I might kind of start packing, I don't know. I just don't want to save it all to the last minute, so I might as well get organized. So, we know we're bringing this, because this is one of my outfits. Oh my god. These are the Namelia pants, my pride and joy. Probably gonna bring both of these, to be honest, because I feel like you, I don't know. I just want them both. Like, literally, how is this clothes? I don't know. I fake tanned, but I'm gonna have to fake tan again before I go. I'll probably like take it off and redo it. By the way, the fake tan eraser that I got is literally amazing. Oh my God. I recommend you all go and buy it if you fake tan like me a lot. You put it on before you get in the shower, like you rub it all over your skin and it just like breaks down all the tan and then it just like comes off in the shower. It was insane. So it's Monday night. I fly out tomorrow night to Ultra. I'm just packing. I have all of my festival stuff in this side of my suitcase and then like my daytime stuff and like sleeping clothes is gonna be in this side. All of my stuff has to fit in a carry-on because I do have like a layover so I have to switch planes and I'm not fucking around with losing a suitcase for this week, okay? It's just not gonna happen. So everything has to fit in here. It's gonna be a mission, but I'm bringing a backpack too. Just watching some 
YouTube, you know the drill. Getting all my shit together and it's going well. I'm getting excited.